wants to slay fiends. What? Hello, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, working through technical difficulties once again to bring you a Dragalia Lost video. What's today's video? It's gonna be me talking about the brand new Mana Spiral for three Halloween units. Um, so that's what today's video is gonna be. As always, you can leave a like if you end up liking this video. And you can comment about how you feel about these Mana Spirals. Are you uh, sad about they, that they didn't include some units from Halloween? I'm gonna mention why I feel sad in a bit. And finally, you can subscribe to me if you want some more Dragalia stuff. So let's 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 address the, the 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 elephant in the room here. We have Halloween Athma. We have Halloween Odetta. And Halloween Edward. Three units that absolutely needed the spiral. Uh, one unit who is not in here is, of course, Halloween Mim. <laughs> Where Halloween Mim? She give her a buff, please. It's not even that she's bad, I just want her to be better. You know what, I'm a Mim fan. And obviously Halloween Lowen's not on here because Halloween Lowen is bad. It's going to be probably better than all three of these even after their spirals. He's just built dumb. He's built different. He doesn't really need a spiral. Um, and if the, ga if the day ever comes where he got a spiral, well... That sounds terrifying. But anyway, I digress. Uh, let's talk about these. These three obviously 100% needed it and I'm glad they're getting it. So let's start with Halloween Athma. Apologies if I don't say these names correctly. We have Sweet Treat, shareable 5 cost skill, restores HP to all allies, removes curses, and increases the entire team's strength by 15% for 60 seconds. This strength increase will not stack. Bitter Trick, deals light damage to surrounding enemies and restores all teammates HP by 8% of the damage inflicted. This recovery caps at 30% of their maximum HP. Recover potency 20%. Light Paralysis equals user critical rate 12%. If a team member is attuned to light, it increases their critical rate by 12% for 15 seconds when they successfully paralyze an enemy. After activating this ability, it will not activate again for 10 seconds, but it fits the whole team. Skill Prep 100%, Skill Charge, Opponent Curse Resistance 100, and Full HP equals Strength 20%. So, I really- oh man. So this is gonna be tough, because this skill right here so the previous Althema had the same problem where they kept the, when you're at 100% skill, you're super powerful. Um, the problem is, is that you're just never like that. So I actually have no doubt in my mind that this, this bitter trick here, we have no idea how much damage it's going to do, but it's going to end up dealing a lot. I also like that it heals now. I think in previous it only healed her. I have her, so let me check her real quick. I'm almost positive that that's how it was. But, um... It's definitely an improvement over uh, what she was before. The main thing I'm wondering is whether or not... Um, I really just wish they didn't have to make it so it's all the way 70% is what I'm trying... The basis of my um, talking is what I'm trying to say. Here she is. Deals light damage to surrounding enemies. Restored. Yep, it's only yours. They even increase how much HP she gets. So let's go back here. Nope. I have to get stronger. So yes, you do. Having moments like this. All right, let's get back into it. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait to see. I could see her doing a lot of damage, but keeping her at 100% HP ain't the easiest thing in the world, but it does seem like she'll be able to heal a whole bunch. And she can remove curses, which is nice if you're fighting someone like, um, the Zayr, or H, the Dark Dragon, the one who just curses on you. And the paralysis thing actually sounds pretty nice too, now that I'm looking at it. That sounds kind of nice, but we'll see how that goes. Halloween Odetta, Envoy of the End. D wow, she's like um, Chaos Emperor Dragon. She's the Envoy of the End. Deals water damage to enemies in a line, reduces their defense by 5% for 10 seconds, and restores the user's HP for 4% of damage inflicted. This defense reduction effect will not stack, and this recovery caps at 20% of the user's maximum HP. Wonderful World increases the user's nearby uh, ally's strength by 25% for 15 seconds. Dragon Haze 15%. Flex Sprite equals user's strength 10%. If a teammate is attuned to water, increase their strength by 10% when the Frostbite is inflicted. Prime Defense increases the defense of the adventurer you are currently controlling by 15% for 10 seconds every time their initial skill displayed at the top of their skill list becomes available for use. After activating this ability, will not activate again for 15 seconds. Potent stun resistance 100% and buff skill time 35%. Um, 
Hmm, Halloween Odetta. Hey, hmm. So, <laughs> the, the main problem with a lot of Mana Spiral units is I need to... They never tell you how much the change in the SP cost of moves, because skill moves do get SP changes, and sometimes it can completely screw up what a character kind of did beforehand. Um, it seems that they want for Halloween Odetta to be her to be focused around skill 2, similar to how I guess Ellie is focused around her skill 1. But it's all going to kind of depend on how strong this, how fast this skill 2 can go. Um, Envoy the End also sounds like it can be nice for certain boss fights, but, you know, hmm, I just don't know about this one. Let's look at the rest. Frostbite equals user strength fits 10%. A lot of people like using Frostbite nowadays. Um, because Frostbite is extremely good. She doesn't deal Frostbite herself, but there's ways to give her Frostbite, like taking another allied skills um, and giving it to her, giving her Frostbite that way. <laughs> That's the one way of doing it. So, hmm. Prime Defense also sounds cool. Um, can definitely have some working with Grace. I assume this would work with Grace, because you get the defense up, and then in the, in the Grace team, you get a lot of... Um, um, Prints that give you healing every time defense is raised and stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's Halloween Odetta. I don't know. I'll be waiting to see. She could end up being extremely good, but she could also just end up being okay. At the, ba at the base part, she does seem better than current Halloween Odetta, so I hope she gets a lot of play in that way. And for the fights that she's involved in, um... She can be run perfectly fine. Well, no, she can't be run in Brunhilde because she has stun resistance, but she can definitely be run with the twins. At least I think the twins have stun. They should have stun. Man, it's been a very long time since I fought the twins. Let's go to Halloween Edward. <laughs> Vampire Slash deals light damage to enemies directly ahead. Nightmare Waltz deal light damage to surrounding enemies and restore the user's HP by 3% of damage inflicted. This recovery caps at 10% of their maximum HP. This skill will also inflict bleeding when the user's HP is full. Strength 10%, um, chain block ability light, HP below 60% equals HP regen 3. If a team member is attuned, they fall. After activating, hmm. So that means that's just infinite healing. Huh. Full HP equals strength 20%. Ooh. And opponent curse resistance 50%, curse resistance 50%. Oh man, she, he was looking real solid up until that full HP equals strength 20%. So, Halloween Edward. I think there's a very good chance, like I've mentioned in the other one, that he's going to be dealing a like similar to Althama, because um, there's definitely been cases of three stars. I think there's something that, like, is, as I've told some of the new players who have started the game, the idea that three and four stars with their mana spirals can be as good as five stars. And I definitely think that there's a chance for Halloween Edward to be kind of like um, some of the other three stars who have gotten a big power boost of some kind due to their spirals. Um... I could definitely see them doing a whole bunch of damage, especially if they tune the skill up. I think they won't be too big because they kind of learned their lesson with Vice. Vice has definitely been walked back a bit. Um, it kind of sucks that he doesn't... <laughs> it's funny when I'm like, oh, a lot of people complain. because like, oh, now not every unit should inflict the status. But then when they don't inflict the status, it's like, I don't know how they're going to function. Because a lot of the game's big main thing is actually kind of being helpful. I know for water, for sure, it actually helps, which is something I didn't mention with Odetta. But for the fire twin fight, you definitely want a unit that can inflict um, specific ailments, and she doesn't inflict any ailments. She's all about pure DPS um, increase, which isn't bad. It's just something that you need to remember when you're using them. So it's kind of wait and see for Halloween Edward. I could see him being extremely stupid strong. Um, oh, this inflicts bleeding. I take that back. I forgot. Bleeding's actually very good. Oh, but he only... The skill will also inflict bleeding when the user's HP is full. Man. He must deal a lot of damage when his HP is full if they're, like, literally putting a limit on the fact that you have to inflict bleeding when it max HP. So I'm gonna wait, again, another wait and see for this one, but I could definitely see him a accidentally ending up extremely powerful, but only <laughs> when his HP is at full um, capacity. I also kind of like this chain co-op ability. This seems like it'd be very useful for auto if you have a team that's not, um, that keeps losing a lot of HP. It'd actually be kind of useful to have an emergency buff of some kind. At least I think so. Um, but he would also be bad himself in auto because there's no way that the AI could... Actually, no, with Grace, 
Wait a minute. I forgot that with Grace, it kind of changes everything. With Grace, you could definitely keep them at above 100% HP. The same thing goes for Alphama. I don't know. They both can- these both seem like they could be- end up extremely good under very specific <laughs> team constructs of keeping them at full HP. And Odetta now- now here at the end, let's do the roundup. I'm kinda now on the side of Althema and Edward being extremely good, and I need to see SP cost when it comes to Odetta, because I think Odetta also has the chance of being extremely good. Um, but if she's not better than, I guess, Ellie, then it kinda turns into, like, it's very hard to be, like, Oh, Ellie's the free unit, and everyone can just use her, so why would I use my resources on the unit that I <laughs> first is limited? I guess the reason you would use it is because you love Odetta. So I hope for the fans of Odetta out there, they deserve this one. I love Odetta too. I would love it to see if this unit was actually insanely good. But we'll wait and see. That's how I feel. So I hope you liked this video. Tell me how you feel about them, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Have a good day.